Hey y'all, welcome back. This week we're in San Antonio, Texas at one of the parks we've been staying at for years. In fact, on our channel back in 2016, we published one of our very first videos <laughs> from this park, yeah. but there it has new owners and there's some changes that have been made. So we're here to show you what the park looks like now and do an update. So stick around while we show you around Admiralty RV Resort. Yeah, here at Admiralty, it has three things majorly going for it location 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 <laughs> yeah we're in san antonio and literally one mile away from sea world yeah there's only three of those in the united states and they're awesome we've been to all three of those and we've been here several times we love this park you know quality rv resorts i guess purchased this park a little over a year ago and and we're going to show you some of the changes they've had because, you know, this is the second time we've done a video on this park. But it has changed. We love this place. So we're going to show you around. So one of the unique things about Admiral TRV Resort is this roundabout where you check in. You just follow the arrows around, you park your RV over on the side of the roundabout and go right into the office. It's great because when you got a lot of people arriving at the same time, you don't have to worry about being stuck out in the street. Yeah, I really like that. Uh, it really helps the check-in process for sure. And then the office, you know, one thing people ask us about is what do I do when I get somewhere after hours? Well, they've got a whole after hours board where they tell you what's available right here and you can grab a site walk into the office they've got super friendly staff who live here in the park yeah they're actually full-time RVers yes they are you love to see that the folks who stay here for a while can get mail delivered directly to the park they've got a coffee station with fresh coffee they sell ice yeah during non-covid times they have popcorn every morning too Tom loves his popcorn. Oh let yeah. Me tell you. <laughs> and then this is their workstation where you can sit down, fax, print, use a computer. They do have good Wi-Fi at this park as well. Yeah, and and a pretty good RV store here. Yeah, if you've got a problem with a hose or sewer hose or what have you, they've got extras right here, so that's super convenient. Yeah, a lot of the different connections you need and filters and. And even with their store, believe it or not, they even had toilet paper. <laughs> Super important these days. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> even distilled water for your batteries, which you hardly ever see at these types of stores, but I really appreciate. And then of course you're in San Antonio and there's tons to see and do. So they've got a whole plethora of brochures of things that you might want to take in while you're here. Yeah, San Antonio is one of the best cities in the United States for tourism. I mean, it's phenomenal. This is no doubt. Now, here's one of their upgrades. This was a workout center before, but let me tell you, it is so much nicer now with new equipment, fresh, bright look. Uh, really, really like what they've done here in the workout room. And I like that it's a separate room kind of away from everything else. Yeah makes it nice and then another upgrade they've done this was their meeting room and it still is but now they've got a shuffleboard table they've got an area to watch TV they've got a pool table so it's now a full-on recreation room which is really nice yep that's that's kind of typical of the other quality RV resorts with these types of amenities and really like that and then you've got your Outdoor by the pool, you've got your outdoor snack machines, uh, which is really convenient. You've got a little sitting area up there under the awning. And then if you need services, they've got a whole board of recommended service providers, which is really convenient. And one of the biggest pools we've seen at an RV resort. Oh, there's no doubt about it. And we'll show you the pool more here in a second. 
But one of the things we like about this park is its proximity to SeaWorld San Antonio, and you can catch a shuttle right here in front of the office. You can just sign up, and they will come and pick you up, take you to SeaWorld, drop you off, pick you up in the afternoon. Yep, don't even have to pay to park. It's really nice. This is their humongous pool. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't believe the first time I saw that pool how big it was. And they have the uh, newly renovated restrooms right here. And that is a huge upgrade to this park. The restrooms now are really beautiful. They were super clean. We don't normally take you into restrooms, but we did check ahead of time to make sure there was no one in there. Yeah. I feel a little strange walking through a restroom with a camera, but these restrooms are just fantastic. We did use them for showers while we were here. Uh, they actually have three separate restroom buildings uh, throughout this park. And as you can see, we didn't tell them we were about to film here. They're spotless. Uh, every time we went into any of them, they were always spotless, which I really, really appreciate. Yep, and of course that was the women, so we'll, we'll take you through to the men's now. Obviously, we had to switch cameras. I had to go ahead and go into this one. <laughs> but it, it looks very much the same. You know, the tile is just beautiful. Again, spotless. You know, our, uh, my brother and sister-in-law came to visit us and our nieces while we were here. And my sister-in-law walked into one of the bathrooms is like, wow, does every RV park have bathrooms like this? And I said, I wish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But no, they are phenomenal. Uh, really did a good job. All of them look like this now. Very clean. Really, really impressive and great to find. And, and from the bathrooms, you can go through another door on the outside that takes you right next to the laundry room. Right, so there's a great little sitting area here next to the laundry room. Uh, and then all of their washers and dryers run off of credit cards again, which is great. You've got also your, your rinse out sink over there if you just want to rinse something out. Several folding stations and hanging bars. And they actually have an ironing station here. So we don't typically iron clothes anymore, but if you do, they got you covered. Here's the uh, children's uh, playground, but they are going to upgrade this in 2021, they told us. Absolutely. So now let's take you through the park and show you a little bit more of the sites. You see they've got park models. They've got actually quite a few park models and cabins in this resort. Notice it's uh, newly paved. Yep. And uh, we hear that they're also going to be repaving some of the sites coming up in the future, but they've already done the roads and they're in great shape. And most of the roads are one way. They're not real wide, but they're, it's easy to get around because they're clearly marked as one way, so it, it works perfectly. They only have one two-way road in the park and it's down the middle and it's a big wide road so it's awesome so we just passed another restroom station and on either side are the dog parks there's two dog parks side by side we hear they're going to be getting upgrades as well right so we didn't want to spend a lot of time showing you what that what's there right now because it's going to be changing um, they also have a half uh, basketball court yeah, uh, over tucked in over there. You can see any size rig can fit here. We wanted to take you all the way through this campground to show you there's all different sizes. And also, this is also a long-term stay campground as well. You can uh, go for a day, a weekend, or or several months if you want. But they keep it clean. You you really can't tell the difference between a long-term stay and a short-term stay. It's really, really well done. It's a quiet park. We've always felt there is no gate access to this park, and you are in San Antonio, which is a fairly big city, uh, but we've always felt very safe here, and we've never had any issues. Um, so, yeah, this is one of our go-to parks when we're in the area, for sure. Yeah, we definitely felt safe, for sure. Um, now, one thing that's interesting about this park is some of the sites also come with additional parking. So let's say you've got, say, maybe a big fifth wheel and a big truck. You can rent a site that has a pull big pull-through site and then also a parking space next to it specifically for 
that campsite, which is unique. You don't see that in a lot of places. Yeah, that's true. I forgot all about that. But, and I was wondering why they were marked a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it's because it's just for parking for one of the spaces. So that's really neat. Uh, most of the sites have do have some grassy area. Uh, some of them have trees. This is storage over on the left hand side, so folks can store their RVs here as well. Yeah, which is another thing that's kind of unique. Yeah, and then um, you've got brick patio areas uh, for a lot of them. You've got picnic tables. Uh, it's well lit at night when you're walking around. And on, um, and on the perimeter of this park or back end sites, that back into neighborhoods, not on the major roads. And that is a great point. You can kind of see the houses over here on the left. This park is tucked into a, a, a neighborhood. So you're, you are kind of away from all of the traffic, which is fantastic, especially at night. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, we're gonna show you, we're coming straight in here to our site and we're going to kind of show you around there. So welcome to our site here at Admiralty RV Resort. This is site number 18 and it is an extremely long pull through site. Any size rig could fit and in fact it was really easy to get into because it lines up, the entrance lines up with one of the park roads. So amazing as far as that goes, especially for you big rig folks. It is a 30 and 50 amp full hookup site, just like all of the sites here in the park. They do not have park cable uh, unless you are a long-term stay and you work something out with the cable company individually. We do have a picnic table and a little brick patio area. Some of the sites here are pull through, some are back in. What I like to point out though that's unique about Admiralty is on their concrete pads, which all of them are concrete, they have a blue line. And if you line up your driver's side tires on that blue line when you're parking, then you know that you've got plenty of room on your slides either side and you don't have to worry about the trees because there are some mature trees in this park, which is great. Site number 18 has been really handy because we have a bathhouse right behind us and then we have the laundry facility and the swimming pool and the clubhouse and everything just right down the road and it's a really easy access to get in and out of the park. So we've really enjoyed that. When we've stayed here before, we've been more in the center of the park, which I also really like, um, but there are lots of options here uh, for folks. So we hope you've enjoyed this visit to Admiral TRV Resort. If you didn't see our first video from way back in 2016, I'll link that in the description so you can see what the park looked like then and our experience at that time. Hope you'll hit that subscribe button and join us for more fun. Until next time, we will see you on Wednesday. Safe travels and happy camping. Bye.